Okay guys, welcome back to my channel, it's BMW Dr. Dean here and today I'm going to be showing you the BMW ETK catalogue. Now, a lot of you probably don't know what this is, but I'm going to explain to you. This is the parts catalogue um, which BMW use when you go into the main dealer to check if a price is in, uh, parts in stock, check the price of it, and it can locate any parts. So say for instance you're working on your car and you didn't know what a bolt was, or where the bolt went, or what bolt it was, or what size it was, you can look it up here. So I'm just going to show you quickly. I've got a VIN number that I, from my old previous car that I remember off my head, so I'm just going to put that in and I'll show you, that it give you all the prices. Now you only need the last, last seven digits of it. Um, and then once that comes up, sorry, this is my car, that my car that I've got now, the last seven digits of my VIN. So for instance, if I was to click on engine, this is the same way a dealer, by the way, would find everything to do with your car. And I was to go to the belt drive. We'll wait for that to load. If I was to go to vibration damper, you went into the dealer and said you got this part. Really, you can locate any part on the car. So for instance, this part, the vibration damper or the hex bolt. Now, luckily I've got the last latest 2019 version. So mine shows all the price of the parts. Now, if I click info, I'm waiting for it to load. It will load up all the information regarding that part. If they changed the part or if there was a recall on it, if there was a newer part and it will tell me the part number in the, in the information so as you can see the total price is only £9.42 for that bolt from the main dealer and the net price is £6.97 without the VAT now a lot of you will get this and won't have the prices here but I have the live prices from this year of what they charge for each part on each car so as you can see that £9.42 and that's without the VAT £6.97 so now if we were to go back to here sorry I've made it too small if we were to go back and just go here and then go components of vehicle and we were to do I don't know um, if we did the radiator for instance or the cooling system coolant hoses and that will show you all the coolant hoses on that car so as I'm saying to you it can show you as you can see it shows you every part there is for your car and shows you the numbers what bolt it is so if you lose a bolt and you can't remember where it went or you see something on your car and you don't know what it's called you can come into here look it up by the engine and find out how much it is, what it is called, what number it is, and anything. So for instance, now I'm gonna click on the info again. For the thermostat, now as you can see, it shows 39.44 for the price of it. So these are all live prices from the dealer, so I can see everything they're charging right now. Now I can check if it's cheaper or from the dealer, or if I have to go online to find it. Now, when you think about it, that's quite expensive for a hose. So nobody's gonna buy hoses from the dealer. Now, for instance, I'm gonna show you another one. For instance, now, if I was to go to um, the engine electrical system and you could check out the ignition system for instance now ignition coils and spark plugs so now we can check how much the coils are which is a common problem on the M52s and any any BMW six cylinder they eat for the coils now what you'll see here is they use Delphi all the way up to 06 for their coils and it shows the, the make now we can check how much BMW charge per one coil now as you can see they charge £46 in total with the VAT for a one coil. So, and without the VAT it's £28. Which isn't too bad considering it's a BMW part, but obviously I prefer Bosch, I wouldn't use Delphi. Um, but that's what BMW recommended all the way up to 06 is what they used. Now the locking mechanism as you can see, that second part, which is a common problem which fails, will be th this one here. Now that's only £2.35 in the dealer, so if you broke that off the your coils or you lost it, or you didn't have it when you bought one, Say if you didn't buy it from the dealer and you bought it offline, it was missing the locking cap, you could easily go and get that from them for that price is £2.35. Um, the next one I want to show you, like for instance, we can see how much the electric water pump is. Now I keep watching that because I need to I want to do it on mine, even though it's not needed, but I want to change mine and I keep watching that and the dealer's hoping it's gonna go down. Because to be honest, I'd rather buy it from a BMW dealer. Now, when you go to heater and air conditioning, usually the water pump and valve hoses, so you go to water pump water valve IHKA so you can see all these as well these are what the that go into the heater matrix in the car these are the pipes that go past through the water solenoid into the car and keep the car cold and close a flap on it to make it cold air or, or hot air so as you can see here the price of that is 32 39 in total so that's just a hose for the engine return hose so as you can see it is pretty expensive you can search by other products and you can use another way so like if I was to do graphic component of vehicles and then you went to here for instance so for instance now I can go in engine electrical so as you can see on number 12 it shows everything there so now you can see here all the diagrams everything that's fitted to that location of the car 
of the engine. So, for instance, as you can see, all the sensors, also all the camshaft sensors, all the sen all the oil pressure switches. So, if I was to just click on, I don't know what one we can click on here, but if I was to click on one oil pressure switch. Now, if we, as you can see, there's a plus. That's because there's probably quite a few of them, as you can see here. Oil pressure switch, so we can get an info of how much they are. So six pound for the nut. That's just for the nut, not even the part itself. Therefore, for the O-ring. So really, what you want to do is go into engine here, components of vehicle, and as you can see here, you can see all the gaskets, the pulleys, the connecting rods, the crankshaft pistons, even the timing chain. If you need a new timing chain, how much it costs? The vacuum pump, the inspection kit. So you can see even how much a surface kit is here. So let's go and click on the service kits. Many of you probably be want to know how much that is let's see how much bmw charge for all that so as you can see the price there for the whole kit with the vat in total it's 255 pound now i don't usually pay that i get it for this price usually a main dealer because obviously i've got a trade account with them so it don't cost me that much i get it for 150 pound not that i buy my parts from main dealer <laughs> um a lot now if i was to go to for instance other products now you can search, but now if you ever wanted to and you only had the part number, you could search in here by the part number and check how much it is. But obviously I don't have any part numbers to hand, so I can't really show you. But if we were to go here again and go back to engine, as you see the water pump was here along the engine line. So this is how you would search the parts if you didn't, if you couldn't find it in that list. You come here and search it by the way it's bolted on the engine. So for instance, the coolant pump, so electrical, let's see how much that still is in the dealer. Now that's without, now as you can see, the total price is £500. The net price without that is only £310. So you can see that there's a, the price is still quite high for them. And there's still quite high demand for the M52 on that one. But as you can see here, guys, there is a lot of information regarding your car. And I mean, this is very handy, very, very handy. Instead of you having to ring the dealer to find out how much a price costs. For me, for instance, I can see straight away live what their prices are without having to call them. So if I believe that the part's gonna be gonna be cheap, I can check, I don't have to call them to find out and they can't give me no dodgy prices or anything. I'll see the price live that day of what it is. So for instance as well, if I wanted, I don't know, um, fuel injectors for instance, and that you'd go to here, coil, so there's the throttle, throttle housing as assembly. So or the fuel tank breather valve, let's see, because that's a common problem I know in the USA as well. Fuel tank ventilation, I know it cracks in your, your country. So for instance, we went here, that's the price of the part, 68 pound. In, and this is in the UK. But without the VAT, it'd only be 50 pound. So if you have got a trade account on your business, it'd be good. But as you can see, that's quite expensive. Now, the fuel tank breather line itself is 31, 30 pound. So in total, you're gonna spend 100 pound just on the fuel tank breathers for the car. And that goes to the, the fuel, the pressure valve. So, there is a lot, guys. Like I say, the program is very good and it shows you the prices live of what each part is. Um, and that's for every part. I, um, this is the latest 2019 version of it. Um, many of you probably, I mean, some of you might have this program but not have the price list, which gets updated yearly. Some of you may have the program, might already have the prices. Some of you might not even have the program, would like the program. It is a complicated program to install because it's all in German. Uh, it is also not easy to get it. It can be translated though, and I will say this, I can change it. Obviously, I've got the UK prices, but it can be translated to any country you are in. So if you're in the USA, I can have it in dollars, how much they charge in the dealers in the dollars. It'll give you the latest price list for what it is in your certain country. This is just based on country, but it can change and it can vary. Obviously, if you go to help here um, and you go to options, you can change the language in here. As I'll sh Sorry, not here, but let me just show you. But if you go to settings here, as you can see, the catalogue version, you can change all the languages here. So I've got it in all, but obviously you can sell it to just USA, as you can see there, Thailand, Russia, Philippines, Malaysia, Mexico, Japan, India, Indonesia, Egypt, China, Brazil, Vietnam. So there is a lot of them that you can pick from. And also, um, I'm gonna make one thing clear, when you use this program, if you're searching E39, E46, or any of them kind of cars, they will not be in a normal section. They'll come under the BMW Classic section. So don't try and look for them in the main catalog in the beginning. I'll show you, I'll load it back up for you and I'll just show you quickly. Because um, they have two sections for these kind of cars and obviously the E46 and E39 is all in BMW's Classic section. Anything above will be in the BMW normal section. 
So for instance, when we go into part search specific components of vehicle, you can just search it by searching here, like I showed you in Insta D, you don't have to use a VIN number, but it gives you the exact part that was used for that car. Um, and obviously what we wanna do is you wanna go into BMW Classic, so as you see here, if I click five series, you won't see 39 here. Or if you click three series, E46 is still there, but it will come into also the classic section. So if you click BMW Classic, you'll see 36 there. And you'll also see E39 in here as well. So don't try and think it'll be in a normal catalog because it won't. I had that problem when I had my E39. But all, it will also show the prices for any old classic car as well, BMW. And it also shows the live stock list. So if BMW have that in stock in a local dealer near you. Um, and then you can ring them and reserve it. You won't, they'll probably speak to you through the prices because they're not expecting you to have their system they use. Obviously, you can't make reservations and things for it because you need a login. And obviously, you can't have that due to being, this being pirate, pirate software. So you won't be able to make reservations, but you'll be able to see the latest prices so they won't have to give you the price on the phone. You'll be able to tell them you already know the price, you just want to reserve the part, which is very handy in case there's only one in stock. You won't, you won't have to go through it. You'll, you can also, when they ask you what part is it you're looking for, I'll show you now, you can easily just um, sh give them this number. So if you found a part on the engine, for instance, if I just click engine here and engine, let me just show, show you when it loads up. So for instance, if I was to go down here and I wanted a set of aluminium screws, you just give ring up and you tell them you've got the part number, which makes it a lot quicker for them to search part. You'll just give them the number that pops up here or click that, it pops up down here. Now, if there's been a newer part, it will show you here, it was only used to a certain year and then they changed the part over. But if not, it will still, still say the same. It will show you if there's a newer part right underneath it. But obviously there is no newer part, this is still the same. So you'd give that part number to them and they will search it straight for that part number and find it for you quicker than you having to give them a description of where the part is or tell them where the part is. That's it for now, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel. This BMW Dr. Dean here. Please keep watching my video content. We've got a lot of other videos coming up to do with engine repairs and show you. I'm going to be using Insta D and showing you how you can use that to find out the torque specs and everything. Um, I've got a lot of repairs coming up on my car still to come which will probably come in handy for you lot. I hope you lot are enjoying the videos. If you have any comments or questions, please just ask me. I'll be more than happy to help. Thank you very much and goodbye.